It is an important test in clinical neurophysiology. Now, first of all, what is nerve impulse? Nerve impulse is an electrochemical change traveling across the cell membrane. It is self-propagatory in nature. The recording of the speed at which this nerve impulse travel across biological membrane like nerve is known as conduction velocity of nerve. Here we determine conduction velocity of shattered nerve and for which we use shattered nerve and gastrocnemius muscle preparation. Let us start with principle. Velocity of conduction is determined by dividing the distance travelled with the time taken. Procedure Make a gastrocnemius sciatic now muscle preparation and set up to record the simple muscle twitch. Now stimulate at the vertebral end of the nerve and record simple muscle twitch. Mark the point of placement of the electrode on the nerve here. Then stimulate at the muscle end of the sciatic nerve and again record a simple muscle twitch with same baseline, same point of stimulus and same strength of stimulus. Mark the muscle end of the sciatic nerve. The distance between vertebral and muscle end of the nerve shows the distance travelled by the nerve impulse. Here by this graph, we can determine the nerve conduction velocity in the frog. You can see here, this is point of stimulus. This is graph A. This graph A is a simple muscle curve following stimulation of the nerve close to the muscle, that is at the muscle end of the nerve. Graph B, it is the simple muscle curve which we get following stimulation of the nerve close to the vertebral end. Here SL1 this is this is the latent period for curve A and SL2 is the latent period for curve B. You can see here. And the difference between SL1 and SL2 this is the difference of the latent period or it is the time taken by the impulse to travel the distance between these two points. As we have discussed in the principle, the distance travelled, that is distance between muscle end and the vertebral end of the nerve and time taken, that is the difference of the latent period of two curves. We can calculate velocity of nerve conduction by these two values. Classified nerve fibers. According to Erlanger and Gasser's classification, nerve fibers are divided in A, B and C group and A group is further divided in A alpha, beta, gamma and delta. A alpha fibers, they are important for proprioception and somatic motor functions. A beta fibers, they carry touch and pressure sensation. A gamma fibers are motor to muscle spindle. A delta fibers they carry pain, temperature, touch sensation. B fibers are preganglionic autonomic nerve fibers. C fibers, dorsal root, pain, temperature and touch sensations are carried and sympathetic fibers, postganglionic sympathetic fibers. Nerve fibers can also be classified according to origin. They are cranial and spinal nerves. Histological classification, myelinated and unmyelinated nerves. Functional classification, they are motor and sensory nerves. Chemical classification, adrenergic and cholinergic nerves. And according to diameter and conduction velocity, 1, 2, 3 and 4, which is also known as numerical classification. Enumerate factors affecting conduction velocity of nerve impulse. First is diameter of nerve fiber. With increase in diameter, velocity of conduction of impulse increases. Second, presence or absence of myelination. Velocity of conduction in myelinated nerve fiber is more than in non-myelinated nerve fiber. Third, temperature. 
with increase in the temperature the velocity of conduction of impulse increases fourth conducting media in which knob is placed fifth local pressure it decreases velocity of conduction sixth drugs strychnine decreases conduction velocity of knob impulse in certain diseases like diabetes mellitus velocity of conduction of knob impulse decreases what is the clinical importance of this practical recording of knob conduction velocity helps to assess the recovery of knob injuries as well as it assesses the degree of damage to a knob due to any trauma or in demyelinating disorders